Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Brian Garvin from Oceanside, California. And today I'm going to talk about another um, crypto token that I think has really good potential over the long run. Um, and it's called Numerare or token uh, NMR. And I'm, I have a decent allocation in this uh, project and I'm going to be discussing uh, the benefits uh, and potential of this project, including some pros and cons. But before I do that, I have to give you my standard legal disclaimer. Um, I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. Um, this video is for educational and um, informational purposes only. Everybody, including myself, are responsible for our own investment decisions. Okay, that being said, let's go, let's start the, talking about this token. Uh, the purpose, um, Numeraire, ticker NMR, is a crypto and digital token uh, tied to the Numerae project. Numerae is spelled N-U-M-E-R-A-I. Um, it, it was a Silicon Valley startup, and Numerae is a unique fusion of a hedge fund and data science competition platform based on ML, uh, which stands for Machine Learning Mathematical Models. Um, this innovative platform harnesses the power of machine learning um, and crowdsourcing. Um, to predict crafted uh, trading algorithms tailored for financial uh, markets. And since this project uses ML, these predictions over time are gonna be based on AI and they're gonna get smarter and smarter because that's what AI does. It, 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 it gets, you know, you're, like if you check out chat GBT, the, the answers they give you are better and better over time because the, 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 the algorithm actually learns. Um, so Numerare serves as a pivotal role within this ecosystem and it's designed to align the interest of data scientists um, and to manage hedge funds. Um, this project offers incentives to model creators who strive to construct accurate and effective algorithms. Um, this approach sponsors a healthy competitive environment among data scientists um, that are all fighting for rewards based on the model's performance. Um, Numeray's trades are determined by artificial intelligence, which is fueled by a network of thousands of anonymous data scientists. Um, Numeray is more than a hedge fund software. It's a realm to, uh, to a gateway where users can earn NMR tokens as well as Bitcoin uh, through active participation in the network. Um, now there's a couple applications that this project has and I'm gonna go over those right now. Numeray has two applications within its software. Each of these apps support a different type of trading. Uh, the first thing it so, uh, does is it supports is signals. And th this is an avenue where you can upload stock market strategies um, that support a specific stock or trading style. Um, traders can choose from about 5,000 different supported stocks. So they, they have a, a whole wide array of, of stocks to choose from. Um, they are rewarded in NMR based on the accuracy of their predictions. This serves as a mechanism for crowdsourced um, predictions. So the more accurate your stock predictions are when you submit them, uh, the more NMR tokens you'll receive. Now keep in mind that if you're just a regular investor and all you wanna do is go buy tokens, you could do that too. You're, this, I'm just talking about the, the users of the network I'm, I, and how that, 90, you know, a lot of my conversation you know, talking to you about this as an investor so you know how it works for the people that actually use the platform. So number the other thing is they, they engage in tournaments. Uh, they have a weekly competition where users submit trading algorithms about the stock markets, allowing anyone to bet on the most likely outcome. Uh, users stake NMR tokens on the models that they think will perform well in the tournament. Rewards are distributed based on the model's performance. Now, now we're gonna talk about the founder. Numerare was founded by a South African technologist by the name of uh, Richard Crave, and it was founded in 2015. Uh, this was the beginning of his professional career. Being the founder of Numerae uh, got him into the Forbes 30 Under 30 Award, so, so it made him extremely successful. Um, NMR use cases, we're going to go over some of those right now. And, and like, in other words, what's the NMR token good for? We're going to go over that right now. Um, Staking. Data scientists and participants in the Numeray tournament are required to stake NMR tokens as collateral when submitting their predictive models. So data scientists, basically that's what they do. They submit predictive models and they try to get a reward for these predictive models and that, that's how they work. These staked tokens are used to um, incentivize participants to submit accurate and effective models. Um, 
rewards. NMR tokens are distributed to data scientists as rewards uh, based on the performance of their models in the numerate competition. Like I was just talking about the weekly competitions that they have. Successful models that contribute positively to the hedge fund performance uh, will receive higher rewards. So if you submit a model that's really crappy and, and just do, doesn't win at all or, or very little, you're not going to get any rewards. If you submit a, you get rewards based on how successful your model is. If your model is moderately successful, you might get a small amount of rewards. If your model is extremely successful, you're going to get loaded with um, NMR tokens. So governance, um, NMR holders have a say in the governance of the Numeray platform. Uh, this can include voting on proposals related to changes in the platform rules or other government decisions um, as they come down the pike. Um, now, let's talk about data science and machine learning. Uh, the Numerate platform serves as a catalyst for innovation. Um, like I said, the more predictive models that are submitted, the smarter this software gets, and the more accurate it, it could, it could um, predict outcomes of these models. It empowers data scientists to create predictive models that extel stand well beyond financial markets. Everybody thinks Numerair is just to submit, you know, stock market models, and that's their main purpose, probably 90% at this time. But it does have other uses, and um, they also support health healthcare and climate science uh, models as well. Um, and, and, and it can support more models um, when accurate predictions are paramount. So if another data scientist come with some other model that they haven't really thought of or heard of yet, they could submit that, and, and they could be in the game. And as this project evolves over the years, I'm sure that's gonna happen. The network's gonna grow, the mass adoption's gonna grow, and more people are gonna be submitting models based on different, you know, different different uh, niches, basically. So um, users can hold numeric tokens to stake the outcome of real world events, harnessing the collective wisdom of the cloud uh, to forecast uh, future occurrences. So this, this is another cloud-based platform now AI research Numeraire's unique combination of artificial intelligence and blockchain technology has piqued the interest of, of researchers and developers essentially leading to advancements in AI algorithms and applications now we're going to talk about the main components of Numeraire um, the first one is prediction models um, data scientists from around the world create predictive models using financial data provided by Numeraire I know I'm saying this a few times, but I want to drill it in your head, the main purpose of this platform. Um, these models are submitted to the platform for evaluation as well as use and trading strategies. So as Numer gets more models, like I mentioned earlier, it's the, the whole system is just going to get smarter and smarter in, in, in giving people an accurate model, basically. Um, so, and um, now they have, they have what they call a meta model. And, and, and all a meta model is, is it combines the um, prediction model with advanced machine learning techniques to generate trading signals um, for the Numeray hedge fund. So, so Numeray operates a hedge fund and this hedge fund is going to get smarter and smarter based on how many users are using the system. And it has also what they call an erasure protocol. And this is a good thing because it limits the, it, it limits the supply of tokens to where, you know, you know, some of these meme coins have billions and billions of tokens. I mean, the, the, I'm going to go over the tokenomics soon, but but the, the, this protocol is used for staking and burning NMR tokens. Users stake NMR on the predictions that they feel will be accurate. Um, if their predictions are correct, they will earn rewards. Otherwise, their staked uh, NMR is burned, reducing the token supply. So if you have inaccurate market models, the tokens that they would have received will be burned and it will reduce the token supply. Um, so it becomes more of a supply shock uh, for investors, which means you know, obviously the, the, the price of the coin is gonna go up after that. So we're gonna talk about some pros and cons of Numeraire. Okay, one of the pros is it incentivizes data science. It, it, it rewards people for innovation. The AI and ML will make these predictions better and better over time, like I mentioned earlier. This will bring more interest to this model, causing a cumulative growth effect for the NMR token. And that's my two investors that want to put money in this or are considering doing this. Like I said, this isn't financial advice. I'm not allowed to do that. But for me, I'm going to put a decent allocation. I already have a decent allocation of MMR and I don't know if I'm going to add more or not. I'm considering it. Um, but Numeray operates as a decentralized hedge fund managed by the collective intelligence of data scientists worldwide. So it's 
it's encouraging collaboration of technology and, and, and many minds into an ecosystem that's going to get smarter and smarter over time. This approach introduces transparency and fairness into the financial markets. So no one's going to get over rewarded for bad, basically, models that they submit. And they're not going to get under rewarded if they submit a great model. Um, so this, I think, over time is going to cause a cumulative growth effect for the NMR token. Because if you check out the US, I mean, they've got data. I mean, it, being an expert in data science, you could do, you could actually become an expert in data science within about a year. They've got courses in college that teach it. So, you know, over time, there's going to be more and more of these. And the, the colleges are pumping them out left and right. And they're going to be looking for something like NMR to, you know, make some money with. So. It's a nice little side hustle for them at the minimum, right? So let's go over some cons. Okay, one of them is complexity. The, the, the numerate ecosystem, including the staking, burning, and tournament mechanisms can be complex and not understood by most users, at least at first. Eventually, they're gonna catch on to it. It's like anything else, you know? You know, like, like let me give you an example. When I got involved in crypto, cryptocurrency, someone told me about the NEO project. It was just opening up at 17 cents a token. I said, screw you, it's a scam. I don't want to deal with it and then and that taught me a big lesson because when that coin was 17 cents that i could have bought it at and i could have put two or three grand in and i'd have millions because it ended up uh the, the neo project you know the chinese uh version of ethereum i think is what it's called and um it, it went up to a all-time high of 110 dollars and i could have cashed out all of it or at least most of it and, and made well over a million and i screwed that up so it's the same thing with this, you know, people, opportunities in front of people, and, and it's gonna take quite a while, probably five years for a lot of people to really, really understand what's going on with this project. Videos like this one that's coming out is gonna help with that, and who knows what else is gonna contribute to the ecosystem growth, but that's kind of how it works. Um, the, now there's, there is a risk of token loss. When you stake NMR tokens, you could lose them if, the, if your predictions, stock predictions that you submit via the ecosystem are incorrect. Um, some users might be hesitant to stake these based on this factor. Um, so that's that that's gonna be a little bit to stop mass adoption. It's gonna slow it down some, okay? Now they have limited use cases too. The, even though this project was launched years ago, it it's, hasn't really completely proven itself yet. It's starting to prove itself. I mean, it's a great project. That's why I'm invested in it. But. The use cases outside of the finance and data science uh, models are real limited at this time. The use cases outside of these two niches, like I said, are, are, are limited. There's there's not too many of them. The, all there, the, the other ones that I know of is I think climate change and healthcare. I think a few have been submitted on those grounds, but nothing else. I think over time, they're gonna serve dozens of other niches. Um, as, as the occasion arises, as the need for this project arrives, it's one of those slow growth projects. I don't think it's gonna be an overnight success, but I think it has potential in the long run. Um, so this can have a negative effect, when, like I said, when it comes to mass adoption, because it's a slow growth type of thing. It's not gonna be overnight profits, but I still think it's a rock solid play because I think they're, they're unique and they serve a niche that's not really being served before. Okay, now let's talk about the roadmap. Okay, the development team in this project has made significant progress in their roadmap in the last few years. The new Numerate tournament has grown in popularity and the Numerate community has expanded to thousands of uh, global participants. I guess you could put that in the pro section, but I put it in the roadmap section. And, and, and they have other products that they're releasing. Let me tell you one of the main ones. The, the Numerate development team has also developed a pro platform that allows users to trade um, Numerate derivatives. That's a big deal because that, that this in and of itself can, can be mass adopted and, and contribute to the overall growth of the total ecosystem. So let's go over some tokenomics because I mean, that's a, I, I know that's the part you're waiting for. Um, these are the current stats as of the time this video was created, which is about a day ago. Um, well, I mean, the video is being created now, but I mean, the write-up for this video was created about a day ago. All right, right now it has a market cap of 164 million. This is extremely good because it has so much room for growth. And, and that's why, I, that's one of the reasons I've decided to take a, 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 what I like to call an average position in this. It's not one of my heavy positions, but it's an average position because I believe in the project. 
Um, right now it's ranked 307 on coin market cap, which means it has a lot of room for growth, not only in market cap, but on coin market cap rankings. And, and I'm sure CoinGecko will have information on the coin as well if you wanna go there. Um, the price per token is currently $26.20. The all time high of Numerare was $168. So, you know, just to get to the all time high, it's gotta go 6X. So, so right now we're in a dip, in a market dip. So like, just like any other altcoin, it's a great buying opportunity. Um, the 24 hour trading volume is at 14.1 million and the circulating supply is 6.2 million NMR tokens. Now the max supply is 11 million tokens. That means no more can be created. And if the circulating supply is 6.2 million tokens, we're like what 4.8 million tokens six seven eight yeah 4.8 million tokens away from being at the max supply so that that's that's pretty good now in in 2019 numerae took a significant step by reducing this maximum supply from 21 million to 11 million tokens so they know what was going on they, they saw a problem and they fixed it and that's another thing i like about this project is they're refining you know they're tweaking they're getting it better um they're not just sitting on problems and not correcting them and, and, and that to me, that's a, another pro to this project. Um, now, one of the things about this token that I do have to warn you about, and I'm not personally concerned about it, but I want to bring it up because you might be concerned about it, um, is the token isn't distributed evenly. The top 100 holders, you know, the top 100 wallets um, own 87% of the supply. So it, it's, it's, a, it's top down leverage, meaning, you know, just a few people own a lot of the say in this project. And remember, they got voting rights too. Um, now the largest private holder owns 6.4%. I mean, that's a fortune if you consider, you know, the market cap. But remember, any whale can jump in and do this with any good project. So you've got these guys in the Satoshi area, that, or the Satoshi area, you know, when Bitcoin first started that gobbled up 500 or 1,000 Bitcoin and hodled them. I mean, they're whales now, you know, and they can, they can pretty much go into any project and, you, you know, buy a decent supply of it, so. You know, that's just the power of, of getting in early in, in wealth, right? So that's just the way the world works. I mean, it, it happens, but but this doesn't bother me, but it is worth mentioning because I want you to know about it. Um, now the fully diluted market cap is 288 million. And in case you don't know what the fully diluted market cap means, it means the total value calculated under the assumption that all the project's tokens have already been distributed. Um, so, the, Mar you know, so, so 288 million um, is a fully diluted market cap. Now let's talk about token burning. One distinctive feature of Numerare is a regular burning of NMR tokens. This is performed on a weekly basis. So they burn their tokens weekly and it's tied to the performance of the weekly tournament uh, participants and their predictive models. So the, well, like I mentioned earlier in the video, tokens are probably burned on failed um, product submissions basically you know when, when they submit their predictive models if, if those models fail then, then th their tokens are burned so they're not at re-added to the total supply which makes it a more scarce resource um, so let's talk about how to purchase uh, numeraires it's really easy um, anyone can invest in the NMR token you don't have to be a participant in the network um, to be an investor to purchase the token um, it's really easy to buy you can buy it directly from Coinbase, you don't have to do it through the Coinbase wallet. You can go through directly through Coinbase and get this. You could do it through the Kraken exchange, which is very US friendly, or Uniswap on the Ethereum network. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Kraken. Um, when I set up my Kraken account back in December, um, I did everything to KYC and you know submitted my license and all that stuff. And I didn't hear anything from them for three months and it kept sending me in circles when it came to to submitting my thing and I finally pitched a you know what on the forum and um, they came and said oh we're really sorry and I submitted them my ticket number too I had to fill out a ticket and they asked me for a gazillion tons and tons of information it took me like an hour to fill it out but they but I submitted it and they finally got back with me and they they corrected my problem they told me they escalated my ticket and they weren't joking they really did and within like two hours I was able to you know, basically buy and sell and make trades and stuff on the platform. I, I've heard other people talk about Kraken and how they're holding funds and they don't let people do withdrawals. And so use it with a grain of salt. Um, I would go on Coinbase. That That's just my personal opinion. I've had good success with them. They haven't been perfect. Uh, the, the, the coin 
base customer support honestly isn't too good and if you're on coinbase i would recommend i would do a coinbase pro membership so you can at least call them when you have a problem otherwise you're, i think you're restricted to mostly using the chat bot and the chat bots are worthless so that's what i would do okay now if you, you can also buy it on uniswap on the ethereum network so if you're familiar with uniswap you want to connect it to your you know metamask account and and, and and do it that way you can do that or whatever wallet you have that's that's compatible with uniswap you could pretty much any wallet you just connect your wallet through a button on the uniswap and, and you're good to go so i'm gonna now i'm gonna wrap this up with a conclusion and tell you what i think and give you a basic price prediction um i'm very bullish on numerary because it's a very unique project there's not no one else that i know of that's running a project just like this and and that's why i like the idea of diversity i like being involved in multiple projects that have different you know case case study scenarios and, and this is another one um i think this token has a good chance of reaching two to three billion by the end of this cycle which is by 2028 that's four years from now um and if it does that's about a 12x from where we're at now um at the time of creating this video it's 26 dollars 20 per token and right now, I, I, I think it's an excellent buying opportunity along with every other altcoin, especially at that price. Um, it's one of the coins I'm using with the plan, uh, my crypto membership that I talked about several times. Um, it's in the rotation and, and, and I'm trading it using an automated um, crypto trading bot, basically, that's what it is. And I'm not allowed to tell you the name of the software because I'll lose my membership of the plan, but the plan has special codes that make it work the way it's supposed to. Um, I have a link below in the description if you want to see my allocation in this project. Um, right now, I only do videos on coins where I have skin in the game, so you can trust and believe that when you hear something from me, it's probably a pretty good pick. I, I get my picks from people that are probably 50 times smarter than me in the crypto space. It seems like I know what I'm talking about, and I kind of do. I basically do, but there's people that do way deeper research than, than you know me, and, and, and I get my plays, and... and um, basically i i can't tell you know i can't talk too much details but any play that i give you is a i believe is a very good play and, and a very good chance of, of making a good return um so one of the things i want to do is talk about this is at this is a little bit off topic but i want to discuss it at least briefly is i want to talk about um people that are submitting a lot of um FUD on, on, on the Coinbase Reddit forum. Uh, I got something last night of a guy that said he had like $925 million uh, that was frozen in Coinbase and he, he and they he kept you know contacting their support and they wouldn't give him access to it and whatever. And um, I think what'll happen is eventually he'll get those funds released to him. I think either there was an anti-money uh, laundering law that he violated, probably by accident, he probably did it innocently. Maybe he sent money to a, a poker site or something. And some of those are anti money. You know, some of these are covered by AML laws. And I could tell you this Coinbase has over 100 million users, and almost all of them are happy with, 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 with their, you know, with their, with their membership. Um, most people just hodl a little bit of Bitcoin and Ethereum and, and you never, they never hear from them. I had an account that I opened up in 2016. And I almost forgot about it, and I had to actually delete the account because I opened up a new one after that because Coinbase doesn't want you to have two accounts. And it was a little frustrating at first, but I was able to do, figure it out. It took took a little while, though. It took almost a week and a half. But um, you got to follow all their rules. I mean, no duplicate accounts. Um, anything. Don't send any money to sites you're not aware of. Um, if you want to send it to another exchange, that's, that's okay. But don't overdo it. Another thing that I've heard is people got their Coinbase accounts uh, frozen for, I guess they, you know, they're they're world travelers. They they go to the UK, they go to France, they go to Egypt, and in all these different countries, and they're trying to do business on Coinbase. And Coinbase detects the IP addresses from wherever you're at. They're sm they're not a stupid company. I mean, they're they got to number one for a reason, and. Um, my suggestion is to find a home base and, and try not and do all your stuff in the country you you are and don't just take allocations out as you're traveling around the world if possible because they'll eventually clear it up but they might freeze your account for a while until they could find out what's going on um in a sense that's good because they're protecting you from possible scammers um 
that could be operating from a different country. I mean, if I have some guy in the Netherlands trying to steal my money, um, I want him to be blocked out, you know? So there's a whole bunch of things they have to do because Coinbase has never been hacked and um, my personal account, of course, has never been hacked, but there's a lot of things in place. They got a vault. So if you're not if you're not trading on your money, you can put your money in a vault and, and as long as you check your email once a day or so, there's no way they can get past that 48 hour period without you canceling the um, withdrawal request because it, that, that it's like Coinbase's uh, version of cold storage. So all I'm saying is, is you know, keep your security. And if you can't with, you know, people that have complained about that they can't withdraw their money and their money's frozen, a lot of times Coinbase asks, well, what's your support ticket number? And they can't provide it. So there, there's always a story behind why someone is having a problem with Coinbase. And, and these, these emails, I get these emails once or twice a day, but if you figure they have 100 million users, that means what? 99.9999% of them are happy, I mean, just got to just just got to do the math and, and and all these there's a lot of fud about exchanges not your keys not your coins and all this other stuff that goes on you got to understand you know people don't talk about it but there's people that probably have millions in coinbase now my perspective on this is if you're not going to actually either trade your crypto you should put a lot of it in your in a cold storage wallet you know like like tangent i use tan well I just got the Tangent Wallet and I haven't used it yet, but I, I, I actually have a lot of stu you know, stuff from before when I was involved in crypto back in 2018. It was stored on the um, Ledger, you know, either the Ledger Blue or the Ledger Nano S. Um, you know, so, so that's a good way to, you know, and that's what I'm doing for now. And eventually I'm gonna move a lot of it to the Tangent Wallet. But it's, it's, okay, it's okay to have money on exchange. I don't buy that crap that you know, not your keys, not your coins, you could lose it all. Um, I believe that, and that's why I have a cold wallet. But And I have a lot of my assets, I'd say almost half of them stored on a cold wallet. So if even if I did lose everything in Coinbase, I, I, I wouldn't be totally out of crypto. I, it hurt, it'd sting, but I wouldn't be totally out of it. So, you know, you only live one life. You, you can't listen to all the FUD you hear because all these people that are spreading this FUD, a lot of them can't even pay their landlord rent for the month. You know, so so just 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 keep that in perspective. If 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 you're serious, uh, you know, and, and you want to make a million dollars in crypto, you're going to have to eventually trust an exchange. So that's my take on it. So that's about it for this video. Let me see what I got. Oh yeah, that's it for this video. Um, the next one I'm going to have another token out for you in the next couple days. Um, in the meantime, I just want to give you that little bit of extra alpha to make you feel a little better about things. Um. That's about all I have for now. Peace out, and I'll be in touch with the next video, hopefully in two to three days. All right, have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.